And is the Pope signaling a change in church policy? Surprising frank words, Pope Francis said that social issues like abortion, gays, and contraception may be preventing the Roman Catholic Church from being, quote, a home for all, unquote. Father Patrick Flanagan is from St. John's University, the Red Storm. Welcome. So is there a dramatic shift uh, in this, um, uh, Father Flanagan? Because the bottom line is, this is not the first time we've heard this. Pope Benedict also said the same thing, but for some reason or other, this pope, this Pope Francis, is getting a lot of headlines for this. Well, I think he's getting a lot of headlines because I think people are very excited about the fact that he's meeting the people where they're at. He's understanding who he himself is, who he is, who his God is, and what he's about, and what he doesn't know, what he does know. There's, so there's something refreshing about his humility, his simplicity. There's a freshness. Pope Benedict said many of the same things, and John Paul II said many of the same things. Mm -hmm. But the way that he's speaking them, and the proximity to the people, the closeness to which he wishes to engage the people is quite new for people. And I think there's something very exciting about that. Well, I, I think this is, this is great news, but he really hasn't said anything that changes the policy of the church. I mean, the, the Catholic Church uh, is still pro-life. Uh, you know, it is, it is, it is, it's against gay marriage. What he's saying here, basically, we need balance here, folks. We need to make sure that the Catholic Church is addressing all sorts of issues. Is that correct? Very much so. I think that one of the misconceptions that perhaps some people have understood this new message to convey is in fact that the, the church is changing its uh, moral teaching. And in fact, the church is not changing its moral teaching. Perhaps its approach to its moral teaching might be different by taking a step back and trying to understand why the church teaches what it teaches. Mm -hmm. It flows, the church's moral teaching flows from its relationship with Jesus Christ. And in so many respects, we find ourselves being a church that puts forth policies as almost like government agency or a nonprofit organization, and people don't understand the, the undergirding uh, motivation as well as the um, theology that guides it. Mm -hmm. And of course, what, he, what he's also saying is he wants to make sure that everybody's included. We are all sitters, in fact, and we're all trying to find our way, but God is an all loving God. That being the case, Father, we're talking about balance in the Catholic Church. You've been here since the beginning of this program. We've, we've witnessed uh, tragedy all over, uh, terrorists uh, attacking malls in, in, in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, a Christian church in Pakistan being bombed, so on and so forth. What other things uh, is the Catholic Church going to address and uh, in, in, in giving balance to, to social issues in the world? I think there's a sensitivity that the Pope is calling the global community to, that we need to treat each other with the dignity that God has given them mm -hmm. and to reach out to others, particularly those who are poor and those who are marginalized. I think that um, when we think of all these different confrontations throughout the, the globe, it seems to me that many of them are built upon age-old angers, divisions, stripes mm -hmm. that perhaps can be resolved by people sitting down and talking to each other and being attentive to each other and being mindful of one another and uh, respecting each other's person's dignity instead of always getting one's um, uh, excitement and uh, ire up and rather than uh, and, and sticking to one's um, background rather than being open to the possibility of, of a new, hope, more hopeful future. One thing I think we can see here uh, is perhaps more people coming into the church and also maybe even more people coming into the priesthood because that's been something that's been of a major concern for the Catholic Church and that's something that remains to be seen and we hope that that happens. Father Flanagan, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. Okay. When our eyes review continues, we'll look at the brinkmanship that's playing out in Washington, D.C. over the U.S. budget. Stay with us.